group of Luzerne County residents continue to put pressure on county council over roads that are in disrepair. They want to show the county council officials that the roads are a public safety hazard and they need to be fixed. WBRE, WYOU, Eyewitness News, I-Team reporter Caroline Forback joins us now live in the studio with their latest efforts. Caroline? Nick, Candace, Cindy Brannon of Mountaintop spent the better part of a year asking county officials to find the funding to fix Luzerne County roads. Now her son Greg is leading the charge and rallying more people to speak up about the roads. As Luzerne County continues to fine-tune the budget, a growing group of residents are making it clear where they want the money to go. I just wanted to come out and support them um, and really to see what can be done at the county level to make sure that the money that they have is being allocated toward fixing roads and toward fixing roads in the proper way. Members of a grassroots group led by Cindy Brannon and her son Greg attended the council meeting tonight, putting the pressure on county officials to prioritize roads. You need to use your voice, otherwise you, things won't get better. And that's what I'm here tonight for. The county owns more than 120 miles of road. Many of them are eroding and riddled with large, dangerous potholes. Hello. I've never had as many flat tires, bent rims, personally, than any other place. It is a serious thing that can cause people to miss work. They could lose their jobs. Uh, it costs them tons of money in repairs. The roads need to be rebuilt, but it would cost a few million dollars. But it probably won't come from American Rescue Plan money. Final rule from the U.S. Department of the Treasury restricts the use of funds on general infrastructure projects. But Brannon is certain the county can find other ways to come up with the funds. The county manager should be 100% proactive in applying for every grant possible to fix these roads because when you fix infrastructure, that opens the door for fixing a, a litany of other issues this county faces. The group also wanted to make it clear to whoever becomes the new county manager that they expect them to prioritize the issue. Council will vote on that within the next couple of months. Nick, Candace. Caroline, thank you.